morning everyone and welcome back to my vlog my name is Jenny and this is my channel Jenny loves to sew and um, so I'm really excited about today's make that I've got to show you because it's a pattern test I've um, done recently and the pattern's just been launched so now I can actually talk about it so the pattern is the Rosalie dress by experimental space and it's this gorgeous maxi dress I mean look at that artwork that artwork is absolutely fantastic and um yeah that's the line drawings which i'll go into more detail in a minute um i will just insert a picture now of my, me wearing the dress because it's very difficult in this room to show you the full length so i'll do that now right for transparency before i talk about the pattern i will say that i received the pattern for free um, I know we're supposed to do things like that on Instagram and YouTube. Um, so basically, um, how a pattern test works, uh, there's normally a call out. So basically, Andrea put a call out on Instagram for pattern testers. I have pattern tested for Andrea before, um, so I was really keen to um, get involved. Um, the last couple of things I've done, really loved them, worn them loads. So yeah, really wanted to have a go at this one. Um, and basically people apply and she wants people of all abilities, different sizes, obviously, so to get a good um, spectrum of testers across the um, pattern. So I was lucky enough to be invited to test again. Um, so then a group chat set, set up so that we can all talk to each other and the pattern is sent out to us. Um, when the pattern's first sent out, it is in its... Uh, unfinished um i don't know what's the best way to say in its un unfinished uh, form so uh, there may be errors in the wording there could be perhaps notches missing off the pattern pieces and things like that so that's obviously part of the reason for pattern testing to iron out all those problems so that um, once it's all done it's absolutely perfect before it's sent out to the um public so let me tell you a little bit about the dress so if I can show you the line drawings. So you've got this lovely cut out detail at the back, which is bra friendly. And there's uh, you've got some gathering around the uh, waist area. There's an invisible zip inserted. And then the, the skirt, it's, um, it's panelled. So you've got the front and back panel and then you've got these side panels. So that gives the dress a really nice um, drape. So yeah, absolutely love it. Size wise, oh yes, it's it's class as an it's a class as an improver um, pattern. So because there are a few techniques, there's a, a burrito method. It's a mini burrito method. It's described as, and there's also a inserting an invisible zip. Size wise, um, I went with my body measurements. So I did the car on the bust and the eve on the waist. So the measurements go from, she uses uh, names rather than numbers. Uh, so you've got Ava to Gear. So the bust sizes go from Ava, which is 31 inches, to Gear, which is 43 inches. And on the waist, it's um, Ava is 24.5 inches and Gear is 36.5 inches. So I went on my body measurements and the fit was spot on really. I, I didn't have to make any adjustments to the uh, side seams at all. I mean, sometimes when I make things, I'll have to turn them in a little bit. But no, I was re really pleased with the fit. So features that I really like. Um, it's got some really deep bits. In fact, they're probably the deepest pockets I've ever seen. I mean, look, look at those. Absolutely fantastic. I love pockets on a dress now. I never used to bother, but since I made my own dresses, I always think, can you put pockets in? So, yeah, love the pockets. Really like the cutout detail at the back. I think that's a really nice feature. And the neckline again, really like that. So the methods used is the uh, the burrito method. I mean, the instructions, I will say, are excellent. I mean, we've got, it does say improvers, but I know there was a couple of beginners on the um, in the group 
and they manage the pattern fine because the instructions, especially the burrito method, um, I just read through the instructions. It, it, does have, it does have pictures as well to help, but I, I tend to go on just word, wording. Obviously, it's good to have a look at the pictures so you can make sure you've got the right side and the wrong side round, but I do tend to do my um, sewing through actually the written word. Um, but yeah, the burrito method I found really clear to follow them. I have done burritos before and I've got to say normally I read the instructions and then end up on YouTube following videos to see what I'm supposed to be doing. But now I just read for each set each uh, part of the instruction, followed it and didn't have a problem at all. Uh, I have got um, one I made earlier. This, this was my um, toile, um, so I can show you the inside, if I can get it the right way around, it's rather a long dress, <laughs> inside end. So yeah, the, the burrito method gives a really nice finish on the inside and then you've got all the um, shoulders all, all encased. So I think that's a really nice uh, way to finish off something on the inside. Um, this this trial I did actually um, because Andrea does plead with us to do a trial for her. She says she, because she really doesn't want us ruining our nice fabric on pattern testing. So she she asked us to do a trial first, which I which I did. Um, this this fabric I've had lying on my bedroom floor. I need to cut little bits of it because I haven't finished it yet. Um, it's been lying on my bedroom floor for about two years pretty much since I started sewing it's probably not the best fabric in the world but I think it's a very pretty print um, I bought it from eBay it was probably two three pounds a meter and I've got five meters for it um, and then I made the I think it was the sew over it poppy play suit which I, I've seen lots of lovely versions of this on Instagram but when I made it, I don't know if I'd got the sizing wrong or what I did, but it just did not do anything for me. It just was really unflattering. Uh, so I've never worn it. I think, well, I think it'd probably end up in the bin. I don't think, I, I haven't got it now. <laughs> I wanted to destroy all evidence it was that bad on me. Uh, and I think it really put me off this material as well. I think it's not the best material in the world, but I think I could have made something with it. And then I just, it's just lay abandoned on the floor for the last two years. So when this came up, I thought, oh, this is the right sort of drape to just do a test run of it before I cut into my lovely fabric. Uh, and it turned out way better than I thought. So I'm actually going to finish this off properly. I've cut all the loose bits off that I've neglected to do so far. And I will definitely be wearing that. So I've actually got two dresses that I can wear. Um, this fabric I absolutely love it's um I don't think there's any left actually but it was from Satisfaction. I will drop a link down below because there was another color as well there's also a red color and it's described as a peach skin not the easiest of fabrics to sew with because it is quite slippery but I think it worked really really well with this um, pattern so you've got your Cut out on the back I've told you about, you've got deep pockets. There's also an invisible zip, um, which rather than, I've not come, I'm, I'm probably, there's lots of probably patterns that uh, do this, but normally the, pat, the zips start at the top, but this zip, it actually starts, so you, you, you sew that little bit up there and then the zip starts further down. Um, so it just stops the zip being stuck under your arm, I suppose. Um, but again, method of doing that was very good. Um, I do well. I don't. I, I do struggle with zips a little bit, and um, it's not my favourite uh, process for sewing. Uh, but but this I found fine. So um, basically, she recommends that you sew the top little bit. Then just do a basting stitch where the um, zip's going to go and then sew right down and then you insert your zip afterwards. I actually found that a really good method of uh, adding the zip. Uh, another thing that I really liked about the pattern is that um, 
you've got different uh, lengths available so Andrea's uh, drafted the uh, pattern so you've got I think it starts at uh, five foot three which is the one I use and then you've got uh, it goes up into two inch increments I think it is so you've got five foot five five foot seven maybe five foot nine I'm not I can't remember the because I was only really concentrating on the shortest uh, pattern but that I found that really helpful for cutting cutting out pattern pieces so you don't waste fabric and then have to chop off a load at the bottom and just makes it that much easier to turn up so basically I, I cut the um, pattern to the five foot three and then I've just uh, ended up turning up probably uh, that's double turn so probably two centimeters and that's worked out um, fine for me so yes this is definitely going on my holidays with me I'm going on holiday soon to Zanti and um yeah maxi dress i think i think maxi dress for me conjure, conjure up images of uh sitting by the sea and drinking cocktails and that's what i intend to do so yeah absolutely love this dress we'll definitely make another one um i'm thinking as well i might make a shorter version because it's probably fairly easy to crop it off and uh, just have a short version for everyday wear because i think it really nice cool outfit in the summer so if you're interested in the pattern then please pop over to uh, Andrea's site I will drop a link down below and um, have a look at her other patterns as well because she's got some really nice patterns um, so I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you all again soon thank you bye